Former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been illegally incarcerated now for 256 days, once again reiterated that the country's army chief, General Asim Munir, widely believed to be the de facto ruler of the country, will be responsible should anything happen to his wife, Bushra Bibi. Imran Khan said, and quote, I will hound Asim Munir until I'm alive should anything happen to my wife, unquote. The illegitimate state has denied medical tests for Bushra Bibi, who is severely ill after being provided contaminated food by the jail authorities under whose custody she's in. Speaking to the reporters inside the Diala jail, Imran Khan, while lamenting the economic situation in the country, said no one would invest in a lawless country. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan's cipher case was once again adjourned as the state prosecution struggled to prove any wrongdoing by Imran Khan and former Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi. State prosecution in the case has tried to delay the case after getting a hasty conviction through marathon hearings inside the jail trial prior to the elections in February. Additionally, the government will initiate an inquiry against a judge who granted bail to Imran Khan in a frivolous, politically motivated case. Pakistan's intelligence agencies have previously hounded and harassed high court judges in a bid to intimidate them into giving judgments against Imran Khan. Pakistan's illegal government, formed through forged election commission documents, has yet again raised petrol prices, further burdening millions. According to the latest notification, the price of petrol has increased by Rs 4.53, reaching a new high of Rs 293.94 per litre, or almost $4 a gallon, higher than the average price in the United States. Analysts believe the increase is a prerequisite to the new IMF program the government is seeking. Pakistan Tehreek Insaf has called for judicial probe into the Bahawal Nagar incident where the Punjab police were brutally beaten by soldiers of the Pakistan army. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan condemned the incident through his lawyers who met him inside the Adyala jail and said that there should be equal law for everyone in the country. Secretary General of PTI Umar Ayub Khan called for a judicial inquiry into the incident while stating that the Punjab police were weaponized by this regime, conducting warrantless illegal raids and terrorizing members of PTI. A new mass grave has been discovered at Al Shifa Hospital, where a two week siege by the Israeli army has turned the facility into a graveyard and put what was once Gaza's largest medical complex out of service. Motesem Salah, director of the Gaza Emergency Operations Center in the Palestinian Ministry of Health, said, and quote, The first mass grave was discovered in the Al Shifa medical complex after 10 bodies were found buried in front of the reception area of the complex. Some of the bodies found were decomposed, while some were only body parts with parts belonging to women. Unquote. Israel's genocide of Palestinians continues as they have killed 33,843 Palestinians since October 7, 2023.